Let's talk Tanya for the sixth day of the second other. So in yesterday's Tanya, we cited the metaphor from the Zohar that compared our, 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 ourselves to candles. Just like a candle is comprised of three components, there's the wick, there's the oil, there's the flame. The same thing also, the flame is the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence. The wick is our bodies. How do we connect to the Divine Presence? For that we need oil. And the oil is, as the Zayar says, uvdan tavan, which means action mitzvahs. And today, in today's Tanya, the Altarev is going to analyze it and say, action mitzvahs? Now, I understand that my body on its own cannot connect to the divine presence because my body is too physical, it's too coarse. But one second, if I need to have, if, there, if I need to have this oil that somehow connects the wick to the flame, why do I need to have action mitzvahs? How about my soul? Every single one of us, we have a soul. The soul is very, very holy. Um, and by the way, if you're a great tzaddik, especially your soul is aflame with uh, love for God and reverence for God. And in what way is a physical mitzvah more holy and more capable of connecting me to God than my soul itself? So here the Alter Rebbe is going to introduce a radical idea. Alter Rebbe says, you know what the problem with your soul is? Your soul is very, very holy, but it has an identity. And the moment that something has an identity, it has an ego, it has an I, it already cannot connect to the truth of God and the truth of God's unity, the truth of Enoid Movade, where the truth is, the God's ultimate truth is, that there is nothing that exists besides Him. How do we know that the soul has an identity? Because the soul, as we said before, is burning with love for God. The words, I love you, the first, the, the first word in that statement is I. If there is no I, I can't love. So the soul is an identity, it has an agenda, it has a desire. Its desire is to connect to God. It has a love for God. It has a reverence for God. It is a holy identity. But because it is an independent identity, an entity other than God, ultimately it cannot on its own connect to the divine presence, even if this person is the greatest tzaddik. What is required? What does work as, as, as fuel, as oil? A mitzvah. Why a mitzvah? Because a mitzvah is a command which God gave us. It doesn't have its own identity. A mitzvah is all, all it is is, I am God's will. This is what God wants. There is nothing else other than there. There is no other agenda. Even, no, even a holy agenda there isn't over there. When I do a mitzvah, I am becoming subsumed right now in God's will. That's how I'm connected to God. My neshama alone on its own cannot connect me to God. Okay, so that's why I need to do mitzvahs. I understand that. Because without a mitzvah, I cannot connect to God. The mitzvah is the rope. It's, it's, the, it's the fuel, that the, the oil that allows the wick to remain connected to the flame. But why action mitzvahs? Maybe I could do a mitzvah with my emotions, such as Avas Yisrael, loving my fellow Jew, loving God. Maybe I could do a mitzvah which, require, which takes up my speech, such as uh, learning Torah, such as davening. Why action mitzvahs? Dr. Rebbe explains that if I want to connect my soul to God, and even if I want to connect the higher faculties of my animal soul, the more spiritual faculties, the thought and the speech of my animal soul, for that, Taka, I would not need action and mitzvahs for that. But if I want to connect my faculty of action, and I want to even connect my physical body to God, for that I need action mitzvahs. Because when I do an action mitzvah, my physical body is involved in that, and this way the entirety of me is connecting to God. So we started off this chapter asking some questions. We want to know why is action so important. We already have the answer to that question. Why is action so important? The only way to connect our bodies to God is only through an action mitzvah. And that's why Judaism is so fixated on actions, on action mitzvahs. And also the, 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 lament, the lament of the struggler. Why do I have to struggle? And Dr. Rebbe right now basically is telling the struggler, your struggle is irrelevant because what do you want? You want to be a perfect person. You want to have so this great love for God and this great awe for God. You want to be perfect on the inside. You know what? None of that's going to connect you to God anyways. Ultimately, what connects you to God is your behavior, is your actions, is your mitzvah. So you and the tzaddik, you and the perfectly saintly person, you're the exact same. You both have the exact same tools to connect to God. So you struggle. Okay, I'm going to teach you in Tanya how to, be a, to, you know, how to have self-mastery. And despite your struggles to do a mitzvah, and the moment that you do a mitzvah, you are just as connected as the greatest tzaddik. So there's no reason for us to allow our struggles to get us down. With this, we've concluded this chapter, chapter 35. Tomorrow we start the next chapter, chapter 36, and we are going to take the value and the importance of action to an entirely new level.